Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your second Bootstrap 4 tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to install and get started with Bootstrap 4. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is head over to the Bootstrap 4 website at this link right here. I'll leave that down below and then you want to click download Bootstrap. So there's various different ways we can download and use Bootstrap in our projects. We could use package managers such as NPM, RubyGems, Composer, and all the instructions for these different things are on this page. Or we can download the files directly. So there's two options here. We can download the Bootstrap CSS and JS libraries. That's the compiled finished libraries. Or we can download the source files, which includes all the different SAS files. So I'm just going to show you the difference between those two downloads. I've already done that for you, and you can see the top option this one right here download bootstrap this gives us the compiled libraries the finished product if you like so we've got three different options in the css folder right here we can use the bootstrap whole css file or we can use just the bootstrap grid or just the bootstrap reboot so we can include those in our projects if we like or the second option which was to download all the source files that gives us access to all of these different sas files and each sas file basically uh, comprises of the rules for one particular component, if you like, or one section of the Bootstrap library. For example, the Jumbotron one, or forms, or grids, etc. So you can access all those independently and then just load them into your asset pipeline as you wish. Okay? Or the other option, and by far the easiest option to get started, is the CDN. So we can use this link right here for the style sheet and this link right here for the JavaScript because we need the JavaScript for some of the more interactive components of the Bootstrap library. So what I'm going to do is actually none of these. I'm just going to head to the top again and go to introduction. And if I go to start a template right here, you're going to see this HTML that it gives us. And this is kind of like a little template to get us up and running with Bootstrap really quickly. So I'm going to copy all this, go to Atom, and I'm going to create an index file first of all call this index.html and I'm going to paste all of this in here. So just quickly, what's going on? We've got our dot type and HTML tag, then we've got a head and then some meta uh, tags right here. Now this one here is the viewport tag and that's going to make sure that everything we do with Bootstrap renders correctly on mobile or smaller devices. Okay. Then we've got the Bootstrap C, uh, CSS right here. And this is so we can use all the Bootstrap classes for grids, layouts, utilities, that kind of thing. Then we've got a body and a H1. And then down here at the bottom, we've got three script tags. And notice we've got jQuery first, then Tether, then Bootstrap. So these here are third party libraries, jQuery and Tether. And we need to use them before the Bootstrap one because some of Bootstrap's JavaScript relies on jQuery and Tether. So the Bootstrap one has to come afterwards, okay? So once you've got this index file all set up, then we're ready to start using Bootstrap. And we're gonna start in the very next tutorial by taking a look at the reboot.